bright beauty every student matters hello students welcome to your math class today we are going to learn about acute obtuse and reflex angles so let's get started what are acute obtuse and reflex angles as clearly we know that not all the angles can be right angles or straight angles there are several other types of angles so we broadly divide these types of angles other than right angle straight angle as acute angle obtuse angle and reflex angle let's see how we can define them starting with acute angle acute angle is an angle that is less than a right angle in measure okay an angle less than the right angle is called an acute angle so here it's an image given to you and we can write this mathematically as the angle which is less than 90 degree it is an acute angle now moving on to obtuse angle an angle greater than right angle but it needs to be less than a straight angle is called an obtuse angle so this is very important here it needs to be greater than 90 degrees but it should be less than 180 degrees so if we see this kind of a angle which lies between 90 and 180 we call it obtuse angle now the last one that is reflex angle an angle that is greater than a straight angle but also it needs to be less than a complete angle i hope you remember complete angle is an angle that measures 360 degrees okay so an angle greater than straight angle but less than complete angle is called as a reflex angle so here let's write greater than 180 but needs to be less than 360 and here you can see one example is given to you as an image now let's see where in our real life we look at these of you know, these kind of angles that is acute obtuse and reflex so the very simple example that we can give about angles is in the clocks right so here are some clock faces for you clearly you can see in the first image the time that is shown on the clock is 2 o'clock and we can clearly see it is making making an angle which is less than 90 so this is an acute angle similarly look in the second face of the clock here it is making exactly 90 degrees angle as it is making 3 o'clock in the clock so uh, it is an right angle now moving to the next one it is an obtuse angle why because it is greater than 90 because 90 was at 3 but it is less than 180 where will you see 180 if the clock makes 6 o'clock in the clock face so the next one is a straight angle i hope this is clear the next one that you see is a reflex angle clearly this reflex angle is greater than 180 and it is less than the whole complete angle complete revolution is when the clock comes back to its original position so here the last image gives you the complete rotation now also you have some simple real life examples where you see angles as you can see here in this piece of cake you have this small acute angle if you look at this pizza slice if you look at this laptop here you can see an angle here look at the road this side you see the angle it is an acute angle look at the other side this is an obtuse angle if you look over here this is a straight angle simple example of acute angle is a clock now here in the scissors we see acute angles and here we see obtuse angle so similarly you can look at different shapes and of course a very simple example is the example of a door the like how much you open the door depends on what kind of angle it is forming 